Hello everyone, this is Ibrahim Pori here and uh, welcome back. This is the second time I'm doing uh, uh, um, the command center uh, overview really uh, and this is at uh, um, OGC command center of, of uh, hands-on lab at VMware uh, uh, Europe here and um, let's, let's dive into it. So if we come down here, we have a beautiful uh, screens displayed here and uh, I want to talk you through what exactly this is. Right at the top there, it is an overview of all the uh, compute which we are using. Again, this is a mixture of uh, private and public cloud over here. Uh, and uh, you can see how many uh, how many uh, CPUs we have used, how many uh, CPUs we have used in public cloud and private cloud. And total number of cores, which you can see on private cloud is 130 and public cloud is 42. Um, and uh, the private cloud instances of CPU, how much uh, CPU cores we have been utilizing with, and also at the bottom there we have virtual machines which is 11,878. So that, that's a lot of virtual machines there. And also you can see in the public cloud uh, we have around 9,000 virtual machines there. This is again the standard P or Ops but it is talking to uh, three different uh, clouds at the moment. So we are actually uh, proving that this is cloud agnostic here because we have, I'll give you an example here, we have VMware on AWS, which is uh, VMW on AWS, and we have uh, got uh, IBM Cloud here, uh, which the instance is starting here, is the IBM Cloud. Um, and this is an example where we can see how much memory it is using, how much CPU it is using at this moment, and the storage side of it. And uh, right down over here, we have, um, again, we have got a breakdown of IBM again, is that right? Yes, that's yeah, right. This is the IBM again, and we can see how many hosts we have used, virtual machines, and uh, um, the, obviously the VMs running is 1,700. So it gets exciting when you, get, uh, you see this because uh, you get an idea how much storage has been used, and you can see the heat map, and everything is green, which is what we like to see, which is really great. Um, so coming down here, um, I wanted to before we dive in, I wanted to show you a little bit of what we are seeing at uh, the activity. So current activity, you can see, um, obviously, over here you can see that we, we have NSX networks, the lab we have done, virtual machines, and there you go guys. This is how many virtual machines we have spun up and uh, the labs which we are doing, 5,340. Um, and NSX networks which we have spun up again. So PSAM storage which has been used so far and uh, let's jump here. So, oh sorry, let's get back here. This screen is changing. So this is the top lab which we have, which is realize Operation Day. What's new Lightning Lab? Lightning Lab means it's a half an hour quick lab for people who want to get in and get an idea of what's going on. Um, so that is the top, uh, the, uh, well, the, the top number of uh, lab really. Um, coming up here, we have, uh, again, we have a, a, a mixture of uh, uh, cloud uh, and we are seeing it in a different point of view. We are seeing how many, uh, what do you call it, how many CPUs, um, how many CPUs have been utilized and uh, also we are seeing, seeing how many, how much memory is used and utilized in the cluster along with the storage. So, and again, again, I think that's the IBM cloud if I am not wrong. Uh, and then over here, we have another breakdown in a different angle, I guess, isn't it? This one, uh, which gives us the memories and the uh, cloud is utilization. So, what I have missed, uh, I wanted to point here. So, this one, this particular instance here is running on VMC, which is Amazon. Now, they, when I mentioned cloud out agnostic, we have these labs which have been spun up, have been spun up in different regions and also on different clouds. And this uh, platform which is used for VMware Hands-On Lab is called uh, uh, VMware Learning uh, platform. platform. So the VMware Learning pra uh, Platform is uh, kind of like our DRS. So it knows that it has three different clouds. It picks up which one is less use utilized, like the one over here, 63%. And then what it does, it basically um, decides to spin up that next lab on that particular uh, cloud. It could be AWS, it could be uh, Amazon, or it could be the private cloud. Uh, sorry, uh, on-prem for VM. Uh, actually, it's not on-prem. It's the uh, the terminology used is uh, 
uh, uh, uh, hosted yeah. cloud at, at a data center, not VMware on-premise one. Um, to get that. What I'm saying. So, if you can see the VCDs in there, which is a different cloud, SL, which is an IBM one, and uh, we have VMC, which is uh, AWS one. And this is actually uh, a deep dive into one particular lab, and uh, uh, quite frankly, I think, um, uh, as you mentioned, this could be the first, uh, the number one lab which we have. So, we can see how much ports uh, we have bought uh, uh, for running that lab, and how many counts have been done, so that's how many times this lab has been run and we have this sum of networks and uh, obviously they have an overview really of what's happening which is really great to see because um, from from a point of view of uh, analyzing the data analyzing the data this is this is great and I'll I'll tell you another cool thing come over here and this okay before this let's jump here so this basically gives you this is wave from by the way wave from gives you an idea it's a, cl a cloud diagnostic tool again and this was basically launched last year, if I am correct, right? And it has matured so much. So look at the peak here. This is VMware US at this point. Uh, and you have a, a really high peak there. And then over here in November, we have another peak. And there's some testing which has been done in the background. So there's another peak back in October to make sure everything is ready for VMware Europe, I guess. I guess. So this basically is um, showing how many. So early in the morning, when basically guys are starting the labs they shoot up and they basically uh, bring the lab to a number so it's like a VDI pool right how we have VDI pool and we keep uh, a certain number of VMs available and running for the users to log in as soon as they get in so this is how many number of labs which they have set up to be running at any point of time and this is the threshold which they have set um, so if, if the labs are used and they are gone below 13% then the VMware learning platform magically provisions another lab and you see that obviously in the in the other other uh, instances of uh, VR ops which we are seeing here so this this number is really cool and uh, there's another uh, smart thing they have done here that as soon as people basically log in if I were to go and say I want to do a lab and I log in so I can see basically uh, they give you a slip and it basically shows you where to, uh, it has a number and you go and select where to sit. As soon as you sit down and select a lab, they exactly know where you're sat and what lab you're doing. And if you have any questions, you can, uh, there is a uh, help button and when you press that, you get an exclamation mark like this and someone will come around and help you. So I guess you are pretty much done here. Have I missed anything? Yeah, perfect. Done? Cool. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>